curry stew chicken. I think that is one of the most Trini dishes you will ever find because it embodies the two major influences in our cooking historically and that is the Creole and the Indian influences. The funniest thing happens to me when I go to the market sometimes and I see a strange vegetable and I ask my market vendors, how do you cook this? Nine out of ten times they'll tell me, oh, you can just curry it. And we all know uh, our curries came from our ancestors and today we have our own indigenous curries on our island. Caramelization of the sugar in the oil came, comes from our African heritage. It's a very popular way of coloring food. And of course, we use that throughout our cooking here in Trinidad. So really and truly, curry stew embodies the best of our Creole, African heritage, and our Indian heritage. Great curry dish stems from a really wonderful and delicious curry powder. I like to add my curry powder when I'm seasoning my chicken. So the flavoring starts there. We've got the first level of um, flavoring that comes from the curry and then we add all our wonderful aromatics into that. The longer we leave our chicken to marinate, the better. Of course, about overnight in the refrigerator cupboard is perfect, but if you can't do that, you can always do it in half an hour to an hour. So once our chicken is marinated, we're moving across to put it into our pot. Of course, we're going to put our brown sugar into some hot oil, and this is where the magic starts to happen, when that brown sugar starts to caramelize and turn that wonderful deep brown color, and that is just a sign that you're ready to put your chicken in there. So once we've got all that wonderful color and aromatics onto our chicken, you just want to leave it for about half an hour. Just don't make the mistake of adding too much water. When we do that, our meat tends to get a boiled out taste. I'm going to cover that up. Pretty soon, all that water that the chicken is going to spring naturally is going to get reabsorbed into our chicken, leaving us with that wonderful, aromatic, beautifully colored, simply delicious gravy that's associated with our wonderful curries and stews. When your dish is ready, you're going to know because you've got those wonderful aromatics from the curry and the delicious smell that comes from a wonderful Creole stew chicken all coming together beautifully in one pot. And of course, it comes together so beautifully because you've got that rich gravy with that little bit of oily separation that to me is a perfect curry or stew. What do we enjoy this with? Well, that's the beauty of it. You can have it with Eastern-inspired dishes with roti, dal, rice, vegetables, or you can flip the coin into our Creole side and have it with some provisions, plantains, peas, whatever you like. It's a versatile and delicious, wonderful treat.